I think the question is often ignored in these contexts is that whenever the government is involved as an element of compulsion, yes. and the effect of compulsion is always to strip the virtue out of a transaction. Um, if, Michael, if you and I are walking on the beach, uh, and uh, I'm hungry, and you have a sandwich, and I say, Michael, I'm hungry, give me your sandwich. Uh, and you say, yes, here it is. I say, thank you. Now, that's a moral transaction. You feel good about having done something good. I feel a sense of obligation. Maybe someday, if I'm doing well, I'll share my sandwich with somebody else. But now, here's a third situation. You and I are walking on that same riverbank. I'm hungry. You have a sandwich. And here comes Obama on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> he gets off the horse, puts a gun to your head, and says, Michael, turn over the sandwich to Dinesh. And so you do. And then he puts his gun back and he drives away. Now, the outcome is the same. I mean, I have the sandwich. But the moral content of that transaction is completely different. Uh, you deserve no moral credit. You didn't give willingly. I don't even feel a sense of gratitude. I feel a sense of entitlement. Uh, I feel that you actually owe me seven sandwiches, but you only gave me one. So you can see how there the whole, the whole thing is confused when you bring in the element of coercion.